Workshop 4, Retirement Planning and Wealth Preservation Hello everyone, this is Roan Celis Capistrano of One Million Club. Welcome to our Financial Foundation Educational Program. The good news, average Filipino life expectancy 2014, age 69.52 for men, age 75.59 for women. The bad news, most people are not saving enough for their retirement. Retirement has less to do with reaching age 65. It has to do with money saved. Retirement lifestyle mo depende kung napaghandaan mo. Kung wala kang ipon, alam mo bang mahirap na aasa ka sa mga anak mo. Paano kung di rin sila capable tulungan ka dahil may sarili na silang pamilya? Kung wala kang ipon, kailangan mo pa din magtrabaho kahit 65 years old ka na. Retirement is not by age. It's by capability. Kung may 10 million ka at 45 years old ka pa lang, pwede ka na mag-retire. Pagtanda mo, ano magiging source of retirement income mo? Badalas, SSS lang ang meron ang retiree. Kung wala kang savings, you need to work to survive. If your current income is 200,000 per year, how much would you need for the retirement according to the 1020 rule? Kung 200,000 per year ang income mo times 20, ang dapat na i-target mong retirement fund is 4 million. If you have retirement fund of 4 million, you can make your money working for you. Living on interest tawag doon or passive income. Now let's compare short-term and long-term healthcare. Sa short-term, renewal not guaranteed. If with high claims, sa long term, renewal is guaranteed. Second, sa short term, yearly increase of premium until age 60. Sa long term, fixed premiums for 7 years. Sa short term, generally, no insurance coverage. Some provide insurance but very low coverage. Sa long term healthcare, with 4-way insurance coverage after the long term healthcare plan. Term life, accidental death and dismemberment, waiver of installment due to death, and waiver of installment due to permanent and total disability. Sa short term, no accumulation of unused health fund. Sa long term, all unused health fund accumulates with interest. Sa short term, no return of premiums for non-utilization. Sa long term, with return of premiums up to 85% of contract price for non-utilization during the paying period. Sa short term, covers only up to age 60. Sa long term, covers beyond 60 with long-term care yields. Sa short term, pre-existing illness is not covered during the first year and lifetime or permanent exclusions may be issued on the second year onwards. Sa long term, pre-existing is not covered during accumulation period. No exclusions after the 7th year of coverage. Sa short term, not flexible, non-transferable benefit design. Sa long term, flexible, transferable, upgradable, and may be redated benefit design. Sa short term, reinstatement is limited only within 30 days of lapsed policy. Sa long term, reinstatement within 2 years of lapsed policy. And sa short term, continuous yearly payment terms. While sa long term, 7 years or spot cash payment options. One strategy when you retire is moving to a smaller home. Rethinking your house. Moving to a smaller home after retirement provides some potential advantages. First, easier for upkeep. Second, lower maintenance cost. Third, look for an area with a lower property and income taxes. Fourth, look for a place closer to your doctor. Fifth, equity from downsizing can put into savings for retirement. Sixth, better weather. Now let's go to estate planning. Estate planning is the process of determining the distribution of your assets upon death. It also covers the management of your professional affairs in the event of incapacity. Your asset refers to any of the following. Car, home, other real estate, bank accounts, checking, savings, CDs, stocks, bonds, mutual funds, annuities, retirement, pension plans, business, sole proprietor, partnership, corporation, 
and furniture personal possessions. Asset preservation. Is this your story? Even if she was a co-depositor, Grace cannot close the bank account of her mother who passed away. She was forced to hire a lawyer and go to court in order to have the funds released in her favor. Emmanuel and his six siblings, mostly hard up, lost their only hope of recovery when they couldn't pay the tax for the partition of their father's property in Laguna. They were forced to sell the property for a very cheap price, merely sufficient to repay the debts incurred for their father's hospitalization and medical expenses. Leandro died without leaving a will. After his lifetime, his children were compelled to endure a long court battle and incur judicial expenses to get what each child believed was rightfully his or her share of their father's wealth. Kaya very important na you have a will. Ang strategy ng mga wealthy, they put up a corporation. Asset Preservation Service Some benefits of setting up a corporation Easy transfer It can easily transfer the corporation's assets through a simple board resolution. Protection of assets Creditors cannot pursue stockholders' personal possession to pay off debts incurred by the corporation. And gain tax breaks There is no need to pay estate tax or capital gains tax when assets are transferred or sold from its name. One of the benefits of being an IMG member is that we have partner that can render asset preservation service at discounted price. Service will include incorporation, compliance with SEC, and other paperwork. Initially, if we avail of this benefit, we can save 142,000. Basic estate preservation. Make a will, consider a trust, Make health care directives, create a fiduciary power of attorney, protect your children's property, file beneficiary forms, consider life insurance, understand estate taxes, cover your final expenses, make final arrangements, protect your business, store your documents. It's very important that we consider all of this para matransfer natin ng maayos ang assets natin sa ating mga anak and we have to consider legal advice for this matter. Financial independence is not a dream. It's a decision. Do you want to improve your financial situation? First step is to educate yourself. We are conducting free practical money management and investment strategies in Makati and Cebu. For those located in other provinces and outside the Philippines, we are conducting webinar. One Million Club is here to help you. Please visit www.1millionclub.com And if you want to avail a free financial checkup, you may email me at roan at 1millionclub.com Thank you for watching this video.